for anyone that has a Samsung dryer, you're going to have headaches when you have to go buy replacement parts because most of them have to be ordered. Not many people stock them um, unless it's a Samsung dealer or you are near a Sears parts place. But even those sometimes have to order them. I had a belt break on my dryer and uh, everybody kept telling me they can order it but they don't carry those parts for Samsung. That's my model number right there. I don't know if this belt works on all models, but it's a 92 inch belt, five groove, uh, I mean five rib, four groove belt. But here is the one I found after doing a bunch of research on different belts. I had to tell the people at the parts place to look through their belts and find a 92 inch five groove, I mean five rib, four groove belt. Well, it came up in their computer. This exact belt was a replacement and I believe it was three other models of Whirlpool uses the same belt. I mean, uh, Kenmore. But obviously Whirlpool belts fit them too. So you can use different manufacturers, at least for that one right there, that model. You don't have to order Samsung from, from anywhere. Now I did have to pay extra for it. I paid $20 for the belt. Um, some places online were showing like $10. Don't know for sure if it was the exact belt, but to be able to fix the dryer immediately instead of waiting three days, five days for whatever, you know, to get a belt in, I could go ahead and fix it. But there's your part. 92 inch, five rib, four groove belt.